All right, so the next what? Well, following the Mass Effect is Council's rumors, another one. That's cool. All right, so magnifying mysteries seems to be dominating. Let's check out the game history. It has already made 148k profit. Awesome. All right, what are we gonna do next? Let's uh, research new topic: hacking. Mm, I think we need to do another detective game. I think we need to research target audience, though. I think, let's try that. Let's see if target audience. Remind me in two minutes to take out my black tea tea bag. Remind me. Uh, Magnifying Mysteries is now off the market. It sold a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so that's always good. Um, I guess, I guess we just gotta wait now, because... We're learning. <laughs> Yay! You have successful research target audience! We did it. So let's, I don't know how to do this. Develop game. Oh, that's what target, I did this last time. I, can't, I forgot, apparently. Uh, all right, let's make a game. Should we do E for everyone? Should we do M for mature? Should we do young, the youngins? Let's make up another detective game. People like detective games, right? And let's call it uh, Kid Detective Mega Man. Oh, I'm always a letter short. Everybody loves Mega Man. Kid Detective Pirates. Pirate. Kid Detective Pirate. There we go. And it's gonna be an action game. Kid Detective Pirate. And it's gonna be market share. We could do one more on the PC. We could do one more on the G64. You know what? Let's do the G64. I feel like that's gonna be something we gotta do. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Kid Detective Pirate. I believe in you. Okay, what's good in the gameplay's gotta be good. Story down a little bit, engine down a little bit. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. I'm feeling Kid Detective Pirate. This is gonna be a good game. This is gonna be a breakthrough. This could be one of the best kids game of all time. Because there's not many games, actually, now that I think about it. But, uh, Dialogue, level design, AI. Kids don't care about dialogue. So we're just gonna drop that down. Uh, AI needs to be there. Level design all the way up. So that's all that's all kids care about, right? Has it been two minutes? Should I take this tea bag out? You decide. Alright, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like it's been in the tea long enough. Let's take it out here while nothing happens on the screen. This is, again, the highest quality non-content around, let me tell you. Uh, there we go. All right, there you go, teabag. Have fun in the garbage can. Development stage, world design, graphics, kids love graphics. Let me tell you something. World design can be there, sound a little bit down because they don't care. Eh, maybe just to keep you nostalgic, do that. All right, let's go, let's go, come on. I'm feet. Come on, this is gonna be. Ugh. All right, here we go, kid detective pirate. Kid detective pirate. Come on, come on. We're gonna get a little more into the design. All right, let's let's just go now. Go now. Boom, 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 bam. Here we go, kid detective pirate. Kid detective pirate. First reviews are in. F five, six, six has its moments. Uh, oh, I. Damn it, game hero! I swear, not bad, not good. What is it? Kid Detective Pirate. It's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough, and these people just don't understand. All right, fine. We'll get a new topic. We'll get hacking. I don't want hacking, but I'm gonna research it anyway. Like, a game on hacking? Or is it... I don't... I don't know. Alright, I think we gotta go into the new systems. I think that's what we gotta do. Hacking. Hmm. Let's research again. Let's see if we got any cool new topics. Dance! Everybody loves dance! Oh, this is gonna be great! Oh man, I'm excited now. Who quit the game? Who would be like, Kid Detective Pirate? 
This is stupid. I'm not becoming a fan. You're a loser, guy. I don't want you as a fan. You don't deserve to be a fan. Alright. Alright, we got this. We got dance. We're gonna make a game. We're gonna develop a game. It's gonna be E for everyone. Wait, what the... E? Oh, okay. <laughs> e for everyone. It's gonna be dance. We're gonna pick a genre. It's gonna be a dance adventure. Oh, no, a dance simulation. Okay. Dance simulation. What's the best share we got here? Should we go on the Master V or should we go on the TES? That's the big question. I think the TES has slightly more and I like Nintendo. We'll put our stuff on your system. Wait, no! Okay, good. <laughs> Almost forgot to name it again. We're gonna call it Dance Your Eyes Out. Dance Your Eyes Out. Get it? Because it's like... Ah! Uh, I don't really get it, but Dance Your Eyes Out. It sounds like something people be ecstatic for. They'd say, dude, did you get Dance Your Eyes Out? And be like, no, but I really want to. Okay, Story Quest, none. The engine, gameplay, there we go. I guess, okay, there we go. Come on, Dance Your Eyes Out. Kid Detective Pirate, how did it do? It made 18.6k, 18 18 that's not too bad. Uh, level design, no. AI dial, I don't really know. I'm just gonna do all these. I don't, <laughs> I'm not too sure what I would do for a dance sim. I mean, you don't have levels, so why did I do level? I don't know. Hmm. Graphics, oh, everybody loves dance. And for a dance game, you need some good sound. You need some good sound up in there. There we go. That's one of the songs, it's called Dance Your Eyes Out. All right, let's fix these bugs. Get out of here, bugs. We can now research casual games. All right, all right. There we go, nice, nice point to design. There's some more tech. There's some more tech. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's wait for week four here. And we're gonna go now. Bam. Some market data shows the Gavador seems to be slowly losing market shares. That's not good. Oh, look at that experience. Beautiful, leveling up the gameplay. Release that game. Come on, dance your eyes out. I believe in you. Oh, oh, a 10, a 10, a 7, an 8? I played it for days! Dance your eyes out! Uh, good game, informed gamer. Oh, there we go, give it a 10, give it a 10. Give it a 10, a 9, one of the best. There we go, game hero, you're back on my list. Give it an 8, 7, enjoyable, I'll take it. I'll take it, dance your eyes out. That's what I always say. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, number 13. 13! Oh yeah, that's that's our breakthrough game right there. Oh, just look at those sales! Look at those sales! Dominating the charts. And Ninvento announced their gaming portable thing. We're gonna make something for that. Let's start researching something. Let's research a new topic. Let's research... Uh, rhythm? <laughs> I don't... I guess like Guitar Hero type games, I don't know, let's do that, let's research that. Alright, here we go, here we go. Said light radio, y'all getting hit with the boom, boom. Research rhythm. Let's keep researching new topics. Research, uh... School? Boring. Sci-fi star- I guess you can make school games for like, schools. That might sell well actually. Fantasy. Sci-fi startups rhythm. Uh, I guess we can research fantasy just cause. Just cause, you know? Um, Dance Your Eyes Out sold a boatload of games. Actually, you know what? What is it like compared to my other games? 149. It sold just as many as uh, Magnifying Mysteries. You know what? I thought it was doing. I thought it was doing super good. It was just doing as good as Magnifying Mysteries. That doesn't excite me anymore. All right, hurry up and research this. Hurry up. 
platforming gaming by Ninvento has been released. We're gonna go... I wanna make an Ninvento game right now. Actually, can we research casual games? Let's do that. Let's research casual games, because everybody loves casual games. Ah, get out of here. Research them casual games. Why doesn't he repair the, like, garage wall? That bothers me. He has a Pong poster. Hmm. Research casual games, develop new game. Let's make it E for everyone. Let's call. Okay, let's pick a topic. We're gonna do rhythm. A rhythm casual game on the new gameling. Yes, we're gonna make a gameling game. Actually, you know what? We're, let's make a casual, uh. A casual. casual. Sports game? Casual sports game. Oh, everybody loves casual sports. We're gonna call it casual sports. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's make casual sports the greatest casual sports game to ever exist. Hard on the gameplay. Mm, give it a little bit of story. We always need, like, the superhero. In, or, superhero. We always need the hero that is just trying to make it. You know, Big Joe Green trying to make it in the NFL growing interest in video games. There's also a growing audience for video game magazines. All right. Marketing, I'm gonna need that. Now that I know how much that actually helps sell games. Hmm. Level design, it's pretty important. AI and dialogue down, down. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on, casual sports. It's just like one of those games you see in the bargain bin at the store. It's just like casual sports. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. I really am. Sound. Let's turn that down. Graphics. Everybody loves good graphics. And let's, eh, put that there. Everybody loves good graphics, especially on the newest console that's portable. It's just, oh, this is going to be amazing. I'm feeling it. Fix the bugs. Put some tech into it. There we go. Can we get another tech point? If you have more than one million cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. Okay. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Bam. All right, we're done. I'm going to level up everything. Yeah. Release the game. Casual sports. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good. Eight. Sports and casuals like great combo, yes! Oh, quirky but good, screw you. Shows potential. I like it. <laughs> well, that's not too bad, and I'm sure all the new people buying their Game Boy things will love casual sports. Vino, creator of the Master Console, has made a thing, that's cool. I don't care, I'm gonna research marketing, so we need that. Let's get that marketing. Initial sales for casual sports have fallen way below expected numbers? Are you kidding? Who doesn't want casual sports on their Game Boy? You can play casual sports wherever you go. Hmm. These people just don't know. You've unlocked marketing, you can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. Alright, we need to get going on a new game then, because people don't like our amazing, uh, our amazing thing. Oh my god. We need to, I was going to make a prison sim, but now we're going to make a school sim. This is going to be wonderful. A school simulation, because everybody wants to go to school on their computer. Today, the thing's been released. That's okay. I don't mind. All right. All right, here we go. Develop a new game. Let's make it. You know what? Let's just make a mature game. A mature... Uh, a mature fantasy game. Mature fantasy RPG on the... On the, on the, wait, 14.6%. We're just gonna put it on the Nintendo, put it on the gameling, because everybody wants some gameling stuff. We're gonna call it adult game 
fantastic. All right, and we're gonna make it text-based. Actually, you know what? That seems like a 2D graphics text-based, I don't know. 